Welcome back, my big Lewis bro. As you see, we will be reviewing this egg. What is it? Egg cooker. Egg cooker, okay? Things I never knew I needed, okay? <laughs> um, I did not purchase this actually myself. A sister of mine had um, gifted this to me. She had sent it to me. Um, I seen a box sitting on my uh, step one day that was from Amazon with my name on it. And I'm like, I didn't order anything for us, I know. Then I opened it up and it was a gift from her. So I was like, you know what? I mean, I'm going to try this out and I'm going to review it. And I want um, my uh, fellow subscribers to also be able to see how this works. Um, this is my honest review. This, we're going to cook this together, okay? And I have eggs here. And on it, it says free range, hand gathered, farm, uh, farm fresh, laid local. Why is it laid local? Because my sister and her husband have a lot of chickens and they bless my family with them after we're done with them. We just returned the car in. But she has dropped me off some uh, the other day, just ran out of them. So we're going to use these to. Um, try this test this out nothing like some fresh eggs okay guys so let's first prep, prep the eggs because you don't wash the fresh eggs until you're ready to actually cook them so let's prep them first. all right guys so now we're going to just prep the eggs by washing them off as you see they got a lot of dirt on them um some of them not as much dirt um i've been getting a lot of double yolk eggs have you guys been seeing a lot of double yolk eggs i don't know if it's because i'm getting fresh eggs or what but i have definitely been seeing a lot of double yolk eggs lately and it makes me happy i'll be so excited because i never um experienced it until <laughs> till now which i'm okay with i'm okay with okay so i'm gonna do um gonna do Six eggs. Uh, I'm gonna do seven. So I'm prepping these for tomorrow as well. Some I'm gonna eat this morning with my bacon, and I'm pretty sure my son's gonna want one too. Because every time I eat those, um, he wants them too. So let's get these rinsed off. I have my bowl here that I'm gonna put it in after I rinse them. I just use some fresh uh, cold water when I wash them. So I got my eggs prepared, as y'all see. Uh, 
Now we gotta open this and read this. Okay. This is. How many is it for? My my color I don't think they're still inside, but um, that's what he's on guard. All right, so this is a uh, 3-in-1 egg cooker, easy makeup to 14. So it makes 14 hard boiled eggs and it can make poch, poch eggs or you can even make omelets in this little old thing. In this little old thing, y'all. Let me wash these pieces off. Right. All right, guys. So it came with this lid. This. Um, that's and this is the a holder. Another a holder. This hair thing. This. <laughs> and this is a water. Um, a water cup. So, and it came with the instructions. So it says choose a number of large age large age you want to cook and locate type of cook. A you want on water measuring cup. Fill with cold water to that line. This product works best for large eggs. Adjust amount of water for other size eggs. Okay, so how many eggs did we do? We're doing three, six, seven eggs. So I want hard eggs, seven hard eggs. So I am gonna have to fill it to this line here, okay? So, seven or eight go to this line. We got that much water for seven or eight. Then it says, oh Lord. Okay, so then it says pour water into a uh, water reserver. Uh, the water reserver is seven. Okay, so is this the water reserver or is okay? So, this is the water reserver, guys. So, I pour my water directly in there. I'm just gonna go by what it's telling me to do. When I'm supposed to be pouring my water, you're gonna pour your water directly into there, y'all. So it tells me to pull that into the water reserver and this is how I'm finding out what each thing is because it has the number beside each thing. Okay. I uh, at uh, my get down bud. Okay. You can't you can't cook, cook with this to that, okay? You can help us with something later, okay? So after you pull that in there, it says always use cold water. Place egg holder on top of base. So five is egg holder. So then you're going to place that on top of the base. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Um, top of base, fill with uh, desired amount of eggs. So, oop, I put my eggs in. One, two, three. Seven. Oh, I didn't realize it has seven on the base. Ah, it filled it up perfectly. Okay. Then it says cover with lid. Where's my lid? Is that considered lid one? Nope. Lid is. This is lid, guys. Hold on. Is that lid? Wait a minute. They got two different things on here. Really? Okay. So one is steam vent. Okay, but it is lid. It's, it looks like it's going in. Guys, it's lid situation. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see that. I really need to invest in a ring light. But see how that's pointing at one and two? And then one and two. 
which one is the lid? Because it's pointing, both of them is pointing at this. And it says steam vent for one, and then lid is two. But where is two? <sighs> Do that mean that's both the lid and the steam vent? Does that mean that that's the lid and the steam vent? I'm guessing that's that's what that means. Okay, so it's telling me to place the A coder on top. Okay, cover with lead. Okay, so I'm gonna cover it. Try to plug it up. I put it right here because my plug is on this side, guys. Okay. So there is a power button on here. It says place, okay. Cover with lid, da da da, until, okay. So it says cover with lid and then press the on button, on and off button, red light will come on. Okay, it did come on, but there we go, I'll push it a little harder. So red light will come on. Until, okay, it says unit will sound when eggs are cooked and water has evaporated. Press the on and off button. Okay, I don't know how long this is supposed to take. <laughs> I don't know how long this is supposed to take, but it, um, it's telling me that it will make a sound um, when the eggs are cooked. So I didn't even need all this. This stuff is for like the pork uh, if you wanted to do all what is it 14 eggs 14 eggs this is for the make an omelet so you can make an omelet in this little old tray y'all um this is uh so if you want a porch a porching tray so if you like eggs porch porch i think that's i'm thinking i'm saying it right i like mine hard and whole um But what is this? Y'all, I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this. Uh, oh, so this is. Uh, wait a minute. This is so confusing. Okay, so that's the lid. This is the tray. Tray. Oh, you know what? Y'all, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I was supposed to put, is this a water with those? Y'all, this was supposed to go in there before I put this. I wonder if I can cut it off. I'm gonna cut it off. And I'm gonna put it in there right. Lord, y'all, why didn't I just look at this box? Because the way they got it set up is so confusing. Hopefully, this don't mess up my eggs by doing taking it out. Look, we're gonna do it right. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Oh my gosh, it's not letting me cut it off. Oh, thing. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is not. Yeah, because the water's popping everywhere. That, I think that thing has to be in there. Trial and error, y'all. Next time I'll know exactly what I'm doing. Ooh, it's hot. Duh, because we gotta cook it. Jeez. Oh, Say, Ebony, get it together. Ebony, get it together. So, how in the world do you put this? Next time, I'm gonna be like my husband and just look. Look at. The picture versus following directions, y'all. That's how my husband gets stuff done. So he puts stuff together. But actually, when he did my uh, my nightstand, which I have a nightstand now, y'all, he got me a nightstand for Valentine's Day. You might be a little overcooked, but that's all right. All right. So um, I want to know how long this is gonna take. I'm gonna put my timer on. Um. He got me a nice thing for the time thing. And my room is starting to finally come together. And the kids' rooms are gonna get done this weekend, finally. I feel like we, I think we have enough time to get things done this weekend. Our weekends have been 
crazy. Um, the weeks have been crazy because we run our own insurance agency. And uh, of course, it's tax time, so everybody needs um, needs insurance. So it's just been hectic. And then we had to speak at um, at a banquet on Monday about our house um, buying experience. And the congresswoman of our um, state was there. We got some pictures of her. I might insert it into this video so you can see us with her. I was looking the opposite way, guys, because when I say that everybody, um, everybody was uh, just like, I, I got, I, listen, it was, it was people taking pictures all over the place. People recording, they even interviewed us for the news. It was, it was just a lot, okay? And I got overwhelmed. I am the type that likes to sit in the back, not be in the front. So <laughs> my husband did great. He was the one that actually um, did the talking for the most part because he knew I will pass out, okay? So I got my timer running. I want to see how long before this thing go off. I am going to uh, just let it go while I cook my bacon for today. And... But that's what it is. So actually on here, okay, so, um, 
So it is a note. Cooking time may vary depending on the number of age and desired doneness. Approximate cooking time is up to 18 minutes for seven hard cooked eggs. Okay, so you're telling me it's done once it goes off. But on here, you're telling me it should be at least 18 minutes. Um, remove lid. Okay, so let's let's backtrack. Um, number five. Unit will sound when eggs are cooked and water has evaporated. So I'm guessing when they figure the water is evaporated, then the then it say very subtle B. Um, then it's done. But this is saying seven eggs is about 18 minutes, and we only did 13 of the 18. Hopefully they're done, y'all. Back down low. Let me get on this. Alright, so hopefully it's done. Um, it's telling me to remove the lid, the lid with oven mitt, lift a holder with a with handles. Burn hazard warning. Always use oven mittens to protect hands when opening a egg cooker. Escaping steam can burn. Okay, so we're going to lift this. Ooh, it's hard to do it with the mittens on y'all. Ooh, lower. Okay. It need a higher thing for that. Ooh, you see that steam? All right, into cold water. Supposed to, um, this thing is still on. Hold on. All right, I'll just cut that off, y'all. All right, let's get our cold water. So they want me to move this, then put it in there. This is our. This is quite really good, y'all. So I know this one done. Look at that. So how am I supposed to, you want me to take it off and then, so am I like, you know, hopefully these eggs done, but they going to go tumbling in. I don't even need a mitt for that. Oh, I'm guessing that's what I was supposed to do. Put them in there like that, lift it and stick it in there. If not, oh well, ugh. So once it evaporates fully, I would say make sure you cut it off right away because now I got like a burnt residue at the bottom. But clean that really good. Um, but we'll let this sit in the water a little bit, guys, and then we will open it and see how good this thing cooks. So my bacon is done. I got my berry tear on my tray. <laughs> got the sausages cooking in there for the little people. Um, and we're going to have eggs with it as well so let's check out the eggs i like my eggs personally fully well done i like to see that like green texture around it around the yolk <laughs> i think that's i don't know why it has that green texture but i personally do i'm putting this on the nachos guys um, so i'm gonna crack this open just to see how well done it is I personally like mine completely. Mm, not bad. Now, granted, it doesn't have. I think this is just because of the age. And some of my age lately when I took it regularly. All right. So this is how the egg look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this here review. Comment below if you plan on getting one. Comment below if you have one. And what do you think of this? Is this something that you would purchase? Do you think that it is a good purchase? A good investment? I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good, guys. All right. So we're almost done with this week, guys. Today's Thursday. Don't be bitter. Don't be mean. Give someone a hug today and I'm to eat breakfast and fix their plate. Have a good day, guys.